coming out for the Smart Holiday Jobs Rally on the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year. But I gotta tell you, the sun is shining bright today and the future is looking bright for smart. If you're feeling like smart has a bright future, let me hear you say, yeah! yeah. If you think that smart is smarter than ever, let me hear you make some noise. If you're excited about how smart is gonna bring 900 jobs to Maroon and Sonoma, let me hear you now. And if you think it's awesome that there's gonna be an alternative to sitting in traffic on Highway 101, raise your voices high. All right, we got a great lineup of speakers here today. And first up, we've got Judy Arnold, who's on the Marin County Board of Supervisors and the Vice Chair of SMART. Give it up for Judy Arnold. Thank you. So guess what? There's a train coming to town. I want to thank you for being with us. We've had some great news, which you probably saw on the front page of the papers today. We got our bonding capacity for 191 million, which is what we wanted, which we are gonna be able to use. Unfortunately, we have to wait to see if the repeal is gonna work, but the fact that we were able to get this bonding in the face of a repeal shows that this is a strong organization. The financiers think that we're gonna make it and they're, they're proud to give us their money. So if we have to wait a few weeks, that's okay, because once we get it, we're gonna start hiring, we're gonna start providing jobs, which is what this whole state and country need. So let's, let's just band together. Thank you for all your help. And say with me now, there's a train coming to town. There's a train coming to town. Okay, thank you, Judy. Next up, we have the mayor of San Rafael, the former mayor of San Rafael, but he's always mayor to me, um, as is uh, Gary Phillips. They can share the title of mayor. Um, mayor of San Rafael for 20 years and the longest standing person on the Smart Board of Directors. Please give a warm welcome to Mayor Al Borrow. <laughs> Thank you, Deb, and it's great to see so many of you here, and welcome to San Rafael, uh, where the train will stop about four blocks from here. Um, I'm here to tell you two things. The council that I served on for 20 years and the current council are 100% behind SMART. They endorse it, they want it, and uh, they're supporting it. So that's very important for this city. And they're doing it for two reasons. One, they know immediately it'll provide jobs, what Supervisor Arnold just talked about, but secondly, and most importantly, it's going to solve long-term problems for our community and the community of Marin, namely getting people off the freeway, cutting back on greenhouse gas, and providing an opportunity to people to use a choice other than just the bus or the car. So that's what this is all about. We're fortunate to have this railroad right away in public ownership. We could never, ever afford to buy it today. It's not right not to utilize it. It's important for the future, and that's what this is all about, really, is the future of our community. So, again, I thank you for being here. I appreciate Debbie revving you up the way she has, and uh, I look forward to uh, being there when the first train leaves town. So, again, thanks. All right, thank you very much. We're very pleased today to also have with us a member of the San Rafael City Council. Please give a warm welcome to Damon Connolly. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to City Hall. Uh, sunny San Rafael today, huh? Um, I am proud to be here standing shoulder to shoulder with all of you in support of SMART. And, you know, we just had an election in San Rafael, as many of you know. We've got a new mayor. Uh, I want to, first of all, take the opportunity again to say what a great job Mayor Boro did for 20 years. Let's give him a hand. We've got a new council member. And, you know, I might add, I also got reelected. Uh, got, got the most votes, but who's counting, right? And thank you for uh, your support. A lot of friends here today. But when you go through an election, as we all know, it's a great opportunity to listen to what's on people's minds, to hear their issues and concerns. As you can well imagine, the smart issue did come up. 
What I can report to you from the campaign trail, and I heard it loud and cl clear from my constituents, this is not the time to waver in our support of this important project for our transit future in Marin and Sonoma counties. So we need to keep working hard for this. Mayor Borough talked about a lot of the reasons. We're going to get cars off our freeway. We're going to reduce people's commute. We're going to reduce greenhouse gases and pollutants in our atmosphere. We're going to increase bike commuting. But let me add another thing that will also create jobs. We're going to have two stations right here in San Rafael, one downtown. I see it as part of a larger vision to make our community more bikeable and walkable. It's going to bring economic vitality to downtown as we get more people using our shops and restaurants, creating even more jobs. So what it tells me is, yes, there are issues that are being raised right now. It's important that this agency stays accountable, that we come up with plans to link this project to the ferry. But I am confident in the leadership we have right now. I'm confident that we have the plans necessary to take this forward. And I do believe this is really our best transit future as part of our overall transit solution. So thank you very much again. All right, thank you, Damon. If you're excited about the new smart train and bikeway future, let me hear you make some noise. You're getting louder. We like that. Okay, next up we've got Mark Kyle, the operating engineers, Local 3, who is a San Rafael resident. Did we mention that Smart's going to create some jobs? Thank you, Deb. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. All right, I want to talk about two things, the media and future. My work and my family, jobs and the environment. This project will create jobs. We all know we need them in this economic downturn. But it won't just create uh, several hundred construction jobs. And my union, Operating Engineers, represents over 25,000 workers in Northern California, several thousand here in the North Bay many of whom are unemployed, thousands, hundreds chronically, they need the work. It's not going to just create construction jobs, as you already heard. It's going to create indirect jobs, suppliers, manufacturers. It's, it's, going, to create, we, it's going to create jobs for the, not only manufacturers and suppliers and the construction ones, but what they call induced jobs. The guy who sells uh, milk and bread down at the corner grocery store, supermarkets, retail stores. So the economic benefit is several hundred construction jobs. And construction, as you know, has a chronically higher unemployment rate than the 12% here in California. In many places, including here, it's 18 or 20%. In many counties, it's as high as 25 or 30%. But, so it's going to create uh, economic benefits threefold. So it's going to help us out in the immediate. And the future, we're talking about a green alternative. My kids go to middle school and high school here in San Rafael. By the time they're adults in 20 years, by both federal and state demographic projections, there's going to be a population increase of 30%. There'll be 50 million people here by the early 2030s, 50 million. We are not going to be immune from that population growth. The North Bay does not live in a little bubble immune from that. And we're going to have more people, more commutes. And if we don't have a green alternative, we're going to have more congestion. I want my kids to be able to have that green alternative. And I think this project provides jobs and provides that green alternative. So are you with me on this? Yeah. And we want the smart board to keep going forward. Selling those bonds is a big step forward. Let's say no to the naysayers, and there's a few of them out there. Let's say yes to jobs and a green future. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to name the next couple of speakers, and we'd like you to ask you to come up here um, so we're all ready to go. Um, there's going to be, next up we're going to have Jack Swearingen with Friends of Smart, followed by Paul Cohen, followed by Lisa. So give it up for Jack from Friends of Smart. Well, I'm Jack and I'm the chair of Friends of Smart and I happen to live in Santa Rosa, but that's just where I happen to live. 
I'm here speaking for two groups today. The first one is Engineers for Smart, because I'm an engineer and not locomotive, mechanical. And the second is Grandpa's for Smart. And I want to talk about that in particular. As an engineer, I appreciate the fact that steel wheels and steel rail have almost zero rolling resistance. And that's why trains are more productive environmentally, fuel efficiency, and mobility than automobiles or rubber tired vehicles. So enough engineering. Now about grandpa. <laughs> I have three school-age grandchildren who live in San Francisco in an apartment. I live in a condo in Santa Rosa. Where do we meet regularly? Well, often in Marin County, spending our money in Marin County, meeting halfway. Uh, we live in a, a condo Grammy and I live in, happens to have a swimming pool, so there's a lot of trips up there and back in the summer. But uh, if the kids could get on the ferry and ride the train, they would love it. And we actually make this trip between the two of our places three times a month or more just to visit. And I happen to know that we, well, we sometimes meet in Marin for picnics. We've met in Marin for bike rides. We've met in Marin for restaurants. Um, and in fact, um, Pete's, I know where every Pete's coffee shop is in Marin County. Do you guys who live here know that? <laughs> but I've got them all staked out. I know where they are. We can get to them quick. So I regret to say that our son and his wife divorced, but our son has a new lady friend and last summer we were introduced to her at a restaurant in San Rafael so you know it's halfway it works that way so um, our kids are these grandkids are now electronic couch potatoes they're at that age and we have to fight to get them out of there but the bike ped path will be a tremendous alternative for them that's something they would just love to do and for that matter living in San Rafael my wife and I will get on our bikes even as geezers and go down to Cotati or up to Hillsburg or Windsor for lunch, spend money, get home again. I go to San Francisco and Oakland airports a lot, a lot more than I want to, and it takes me through Marin County, but I have to stop on the way back for coffee or sustenance or what have you, especially if it's late in the day. An airport limo connection in San Rafael or Larkspur would work great. So uh, we've talked about jobs, we've talked about engineering efficiency, we've talked about grandpas and grandmas who will use this train and so will their grandkids. That's why I am for smart.